To get the data from the auto refractor into the refracting unit in the exam room, we have to start off by hitting the in button. So we have buttons we can deal with on the console unit, but then there's also things we can touch on the touch screen unit right here. The things on the touch screen unit are primarily to change the, the chart and down here is to change the settings in the, in the four opter. So we hit in, whoa, looking through the camera as I try to find it, there we go. Then we gotta look on the screen and we have to look at the last two digits on the auto refractor readout. And so if it says 19 or 20, whatever it is, we can just touch that button there. And then we have to hit the word OK over here. Then it puts everything into the machine. So in, find the number we need, then hit OK, then it goes on the screen. And then we can go toggling between the right eye and the left eye. There's the right eye. Here's the left eye. And so when we're fine-tuning the cylinder power, or the axis, we can hit the A for axis, and then we can, uh, it's gonna be the one and the two, which is better, one or two. And so there we go with one, and we just follow the little red, it's just like the axis, just like the Jackson cross cylinder, which is better, one or two, one or two, and we just chase the red. So we turn our knob, if they like, Number two, we turn the knob in the direction of the little red dot, however many degrees we want to go, 10 degrees, whatever it would be, and which is better, you know, go, we go back and forth. Sometimes the patient sees a little glowing of red or green, and I tell them to ignore that. It's in the four after itself. I say, just go by what I'm telling you, which is better, here we go, one right now, or two right now. And then of course we can go to the cylinder power and we do the same thing, which is better. One or two, chasing the red, just like we do with the Jackson cross cylinder. And then of course, when we're done with that, we have to hit the sphere button on our console unit. And then we can refine the spherical power. We can fog them three quarters of a diopter and then expect them to see around 2030. And then we can clear it up and expect them to see 2020 or hopefully even 2015. Sometimes uh, weird things can occur with this equipment. Like if we're trying to get both eyes open, we have to hit the B button. But then sometimes it don't, they don't both open up. Sometimes we have to hit B and then S for spherical power and then B a second time. And then they both open up. That's just a little anomaly, but that's what we can do. Now, sometimes when you're working with cylinder power, if you hold down the cylinder button too long, it switches to plus cylinder form. And you're like, oh my gosh, plus cylinder. Oh, I hate that. What do I do now? But then you just hit it again and it goes back to minus cylinder. So it's not that difficult to deal with. So this gives you some information. One other thing I want to tell you that's really cool. Here's our eye chart. Well, there's, there's the various screens. A very common screen to use it has 2040 up at the top, 2025 at the bottom. I just hit that there and we work our way over to the screen. There it is, 2040 on the top, 2025 on the bottom, hip hip hooray. But if I go back to our machine here, sometimes it's very helpful to just hit the little arrow by 2030. And then it's just nothing but a 2030 line. And we're gonna go all the way back over to the front of the office, if we don't give you a headache doing this. And then there's the 2030, there it is all by itself. So it's very handy that we can switch. And then what's even better yet is that sometimes some individuals for whatever reason might just need a single letter. So we can just touch the letter T right here. And that T I guarantee is right out there and that's all there is. So which, le which lens makes the T look clearer, lens one or lens two or or if they're a tie, it's probably okay. Anyway, so this gives you some insights into how we can control our, our, our mechanism here. And I do hope that uh, 
This all makes pretty good sense. Oh, I want to also go into determining the bifocal add power. So all this has been working on the distance vision prescription. We have to hit F and N to bring in the uh, bifocal, the, the, the add power. Then we can turn the knob here and give it like a 250 add, whatever the heck we want to go with. Now it's very important that to go back to the distance power, we have to hit the F and the N. I don't ever hit the add button for some reason. I just hit F 